Hey there. Hello, Srihas. Srihas. How you doing, buddy? So, uh, we're about to... Um, it's almost two hours until until next round, round seven. <laughs> round seven to nine uh, are played today in the St. Louis uh, Rapid and Blitz. So, yeah, as a warm up, I wanted to join this tournament and play some Blitz. Uh, yeah, also good, thank you. Um, yeah, also good. I had a more or less decent Monday. Mondays are usually <laughs> tough work, uh, work wise, but uh, it's been a good day. Um, yeah. I feel fresh also. I usually play uh, I usually play very tired <laughs> when I stream, but today I feel fresh. So let's see if we can make some something good of it. Oh C5. Okay, I'm already playing a strange line in the French. Hopefully my opponent is not very familiar with this either. Oh, am I? I thought I was blundering something, but... Ah, he was worried about e6. So, now this is structure I like. What tech stack do you use at work? Um, <laughs> we, we have several... And when I, when I say several, I mean a lot of projects opened. Um, today I was doing mostly uh, Bash, JavaScript, and Markdown. Not sure what I'm doing here. Not sure at all. Maybe I can get to sacrificing a pawn on b6. I can get some pressure on a6. At least that's something. Although then e3 is a hole, but I cannot go here because of knight c3. Okay, I, I need to do it. And if knight e3, uh, I will play bishop c1 later, not immediately. Okay, he doesn't allow it, which makes sense. So what to do now? Need to come up with something here. Oh, I have a host, Moritzevich. Thanks for the host. Ah, now he takes it. It's weird. He didn't do it in the in the first place. And I was worried about the three square, but the only way to take on b6 was with the knight. So yeah, that was a little bit of a miscalculation by me. Okay, now I like my position already. Uh, I didn't like it before. Okay, let's get out of being. Oh no! Oh, huge blunder by me there. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Forget what I said. I hate my position now. It was good. I think it was good. Uh, the knight versus the bishops, but of course, blundering a rook, a full rook, is not the way to convert. Should resign, right? Because this is an arena. Okay, let me resign. This way I get more games. Ah. Mm. I hate to start like this. Oh. Nice. Okay. Ah, 
Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Ah. Okay. Let's see if I can focus. I still feel fresh. <laughs> Let's see if I, I I can feel focused now. Monday, yeah. We can blame the Monday. Maybe. He has to take on d4. I want to go for the isolated pawn. Yeah, I don't mind it. It's sharper than queen takes or bishop takes. Oh, that's strange. Normally I would go e6 and then pinning uh, with bishop b4. Hey, bro boy. Thanks for the host, buddy. Um, oof, what's going on here? It's already tricky. Can I do this? Probably can. This is not hanging, really. I mean, this. Because of the bishop b5 check trick. But somehow I want to unpin my knight anyway. Unless I find something... I don't know. Need to come up with something. Okay, let's do the obvious. Nah, it's not obvious. Um, Five d five. Okay, with the rook maybe. If I take with the rook, then f five followed by bishop g five can be an idea for black or not. F five knight g three, still. If f five, I go knight g three. And I think there's no problem. Could you follow me? <laughs> uh, yes, I can, Bora Boy. Let me... Give me a minute. Okay. Oh, knight takes d4. Queen takes d4, bishop takes f3. No, no, knight takes d4 immediately. No, that's not good. Knight takes d4 was good. This is not good. Now bishop f3, only move. Bishop takes f3. And... With the queen or with the rook? With the rook to prevent knight takes d4. What? What? Why? Why did he <laughs> give the piece? Yeah, now here bishop takes f3 and rook takes f3 to, because if queen takes f3, there's knight takes d4. Okay. Uh, I'm playing in a tournament, Alejo. I'm playing the Daily Blitz Arena. Hey Victor. Hey Norbert.
this close this d3 whoa here okay wow uh, i'm gonna take it <laughs> our opponent is is fancy <laughs> What is he doing? A reverse Benoni or a reverse Benko Gambit? Something like that? I really want to play this, but. And then Bishop d2. Yeah, no, I don't know. Hey, Flanker Foos, how are you doing? Okay, Pong up. I like it. f5 fast to prevent any problems. Okay. Now I really would love to bring my knight here. Uh, no challenges, please. I'm playing a tournament. Pop your... Need to move this knight out of here. Uh, so my plan is knight of eight. g6 maybe and then this bishop can go to e8 yeah all of this is very slow i understand yeah that's not good let's get out of there this is gonna be here now it should be five queen c7 i guess Yep, so brave, yes. Uh, I'm not sure if I believe it. Honestly, if he goes to g5, I'm gonna take because I think in this position so blocked, <laughs> having the, the two bishops is not such a great asset. Um... Oh, again I blundered. Oh. Not my best day at the office. Yeah. <sighs> I don't think I can survive this. Even now, I I'm thinking even this. Followed by bishop takes f5 would have been <sighs> crushing. Let's repeat once. <laughs> I was going to play g6 <laughs> again. <laughs> Bishop uh, rook takes g6. Oh man. Uh, no. Um, so f5 is under threat.
Rook, ah, rook h6 was better than this. This allows king g7, probably, maybe. Not sure. King g8, ah, king g7. It's... So, what's the deal? I'm fighting. I'm fighting here. Oh, it's a good move. That's a good move. I missed that. Uh, yeah. Clear intentions there. Not easy to stop. Yeah, the time is also an issue. There's not a lot I can do in this position. Is he gonna sacrifice the queen? I would love to see that. I'm gonna push this now. Oh. Or not. Oh boy, this diagonal is so juicy now. I can even remove bishop d5. I don't because of rook d6. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a tournament. You all know I'm gonna lose some time, right? No! Rook takes a5 and I resign. No! Bishop h5 wins on the spot. Rook a7, well, not so winning maybe. Oh, checkmate is coming. Have no time. Oh, <laughs> I tried. <sighs> okay, let's try. 
Kirnani, Kirnani. Both berserking now. Very strange opening. I'm gonna go there anyway. Feels fine. Oh, didn't see that one. Yeesh. Don't like this. It's not that I can take it because then rook c8 is annoying. No, why? Why me? No. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely not able to play chess today. Okay guys, I'm going to try without berserking next game. And I'm gonna turn the music off. Ah. Still one hour and a half to recover. I'm missing threats. I think in every in the four games I played, I missed <clears throat> a lot of threats. So I'm not paying attention or something. Uh, by the way, Chunu, Chunu25, thanks for the follow. Okay, no berserk. Let's play normal, e4, e5. <clears throat> oh, bishop's opening. Okay. How do we play this? Can we try to play for d5? Thanks, Manish. I'm going to develop now. This. Want to castle first as soon as possible. Okay, that, that's that's nice. That's nice. Taking a free piece in the opening is nice. I cannot go back where I went <laughs> uh, via the same pa path so I probably yeah I have enough squares g6 is pretty safe if he goes like h4 or something at some point so yeah let's keep it here at least it's, it is active Yeah, this type of thing I expected. Now, can I... Wait. Okay, should I keep the queen over the queen's side? Or... Try to trade queen? Uh, actually, what I'm gonna do is this. He has to move the king. 
to h1 the only two the other two moves are like terrible and now I go for the queen trade and if I don't blunder anything it's very dangerous for him not to accept it like knight g4 h3 bishop h4 wait knight g4 h3 bishop f bishop h4 he pins my knight queen e2 knight g4 h3 d5 well, let's let's go let's go it seems fine ah he goes like that then i can go bishop h4 and against queen h3 i go d5 And if queen f3, I probably can take on h2. Okay, this way I go here because I have the knight of two threat and the bishop. This seems winning. Yeah, okay, he, wa he wants to take some material back, but um, two pieces up, right? So, how to do this? Should I try to defend my queen? Or what? Well, actually, I have to check it works because of queen d1. Yeah, wh what am I thinking? This is, this is totally working. Yeah. I'm too slow today. Thank you. Dance with me. <clears throat> Ganicus is streaming in the tournament. I'm not sure why I don't appear here in the list of streamers of the tournament. Ah, anyway. Ah. Okay, let's play. I mean, my opponent is berserking, so I'm gonna berserk just because of that. To play in same, under the same conditions. Okay, uh, I'm not a believer of that opening. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna take it. Now show me. No, you know what, e7. Um, and then you, you show me how you play this. So queen takes I'm expecting. Oh, bishop takes, okay. Never mind, bishop e2 pro probably could move. Not the most active, but... Yeah, I basically want to just keep the... keep the pawn up. And if possible, trade, 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 trade. Like, you know, trade everything. So am I missing some tactics here with bishop takes h2? Yeah, probably I am. So let's attack the knight. Rook takes f3 is an idea. I, I see his opening is probably based on that idea in the future. Okay, let's develop. And I basically want to trade that. Or, ooh, is he gonna sacrifice here? Okay, let's... Hmm. Yeah, I thought he was going to do that. Okay, let's see if I can hold this. If we check, I have rook f2, defending the knight on d2, right? Hmm. 
Uh, okay, Queen there, I go here. What is he doing? He's crazily sacrificing material, which I like to see. Um, yeah, g5 might come at some point. Can I do this? Where's that queen going? Am I winning the, that queen? Yeah, he's going nuts, right? Okay. Well, actually, with the bishop, if he goes ninety three, I take on f eight. I take anyway, and I expect resignation now. Please. Yes. Yes. Well, sometimes it's yeah, it's dangerous when your opponent starts sacrificing everything against your castle king. Um, but this was too slow to work. Okay, back to the Alekhine. Let's see if I can do better than with normal openings. Should have resigned earlier. Well, as long as my king is exposed and he has material, uh, I don't blame him. Material to attack, I mean. Um, yeah, I've, I've lost <laughs> worst positions. Like... <coughs> being better than what I was there, so yeah, you never know. Um, yeah, that's a good move. That's what I would probably do. C5. Typical approach. Against this G6 line. I cannot take on a 3 and take on d4 because he takes back with the queen and then I don't have time to take on d4. So first I'm gonna defend my queen and put more pressure on the d4 pawn. Yeah, and I'm probably winning that pawn. I'm not sure how, how does he defend. Okay, he tries like that, but that's not working, right? As far as I can see. Yeah, this probably is the easiest. Remove queens and... Okay, pong up. Now if I can trade at... I'm threatening the rook, so I think I'm trading one of the bishops, which is also great. Because now he no longer has the bishop pair, which would be a good compensation for the pawn. Uh, now lot, lot, lots of... a lot of interesting moves. I think for, first I'm gonna fix that pawn. It's going to be weak for the rest of the game, this pawn here. And uh, okay, I guess I need to trade those to to preserve my pawns, right? I keep it symmetrical. I'm not sure why, but probably because it's easier to understand the position and. Since I'm a pawn up I'm, and I'm going to try to be two pawns up, I think keeping things simple is perfectly good plan. Rook b5, I expect to defend the pawn. It's the only move I see. Yeah. And now I expect to slowly but surely convert this position. Yeah, rook c5. Maybe first I, I, I get some space for the king to avoid any counterplay. Although if the rook moves, I, I just take here. So yeah, pushing h5 is not necessary. Just rook c5. And, and this, this feels great. Uh, 
Maybe he's trying rook b3. I don't know. b6 is the only pawn that is, feels that can be weak. But after bishop takes e5, I'm gonna have bishop d4 eventually. So I'm not sure whether he can try to go after this guy. Probably not. Okay. Um. Probably take. Yeah. Nah. Let's let's preserve rooks. Makes it more uncomfortable for him. So rook e2. I'm seeing. Probably only move. Oh, that was nice. Uh, expect res ex I expected resignation. Um, okay. Now f4 or rook e5. Let's go f4. They all want to flag. No, but I have enough time. Well, it's blitz. I can still blunder or even misclick. So, <laughs> so yeah. Sometimes you don't resign because sometimes you are very, very lucky. We've all been very lucky at some point. So, I don't blame them. Also, this is um, time tournament. It's an arena tournament, so it's about the number of games you play and points you get. And maybe he just wants to be annoying. Like, okay, you're winning, but I'm gonna spend all of your time. Something like that. Which I particularly don't understand, because that's also bad for them, but... If they're not playing for for the prizes, then I guess... That makes some sense, I don't know. Okay, Aulia 1-2. Let's see. Modern approach with g6. I usually play uh, this instead of the nice c3 lines, which are the main lines, I think. Uh, but in classical chess, I tend to play nice c3 instead of c4. Uh, okay, let's fight against this bishop. Has no useful squares now to develop, only d7. Uh, this is a King's Indian, right? King's Indian structure, this is very weak. So playing c5 at some point could be interesting. The problem is that knight is going there. So let's pre... Ah, oh, I have no time to prevent it. a5 is played. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe I can do it anyway. I'm planning to take here. And now b5. I'm not sure about that. Okay, uh, this is me being too creative, I think. Knight c5. No, knight c5 I take on c6, so... <laughs> this is me being very creative now. Okay, this pawn is under threat. Uh, should I defend it? Probably. Then bishop b7. Yeah, but what else? I cannot prevent it. What is that? Okay, let's pin that knight. <clears throat> and let's try to create something. No, this is not really attack because this knight is pinned, I think. So the other, yeah. And now it is somewhat attacked. So let me trade this. And this terrible is. This terrible is bishop, you know what I mean? Now this bishop is terrible, so I would love to give up a pawn just to get rid of my bishop. So I'm not gonna defend it. Uh, but he cannot take anyway. Uh, it's a pity. Maybe, maybe, maybe I find a good square for the bishop in, in the end. I think I wanna take with the rook. No, he's not taking there. Let's prevent uh, this problem. Can I reroute a knight here? Well, it's not that hard. Uh, bishop a4 first. The other knight, maybe I can bring it to e3. It's a long way. Okay, he can still not take on e4. And I'm sort of threatening knight c3 with tempo and then knight d5. That's the perfect 
Perfect maneuver. I'm gonna do it anyway because the rook is attacked, so... Also the bishop. Wow. <laughs> I'm good. Now if he doesn't take my knight, oops, maybe rook b6, okay, but he takes it. I'm gonna take with this one, this is weak, this is weak, this is weak. Although I'm not gonna take this never ever, I want to fight against that bishop on g7. But yeah, I'm gonna fight against this too, and this is passed. And the queen is the worst piece to blockade, to block a pawn. So, okay, goes for the counterplay, is understandable. Uh, yeah, actually it's a very good move. But he cannot take on d5, and I'm gonna play with that idea in mind. If he takes on d5, I have bishop b3, annoying. Okay, now the time is a big factor now. I'm gonna defend that. Here. I don't want to take the bishop. Let's do it simple. Let's do it simple. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oof, too few time. Uh, I'm gonna try to be fast. Okay, knight is properly defending now. I like this. So you're gonna trade that. That's very helpful. I think. Uh, I understand I'm not playing my best. He has decent counterplay against f3 and h3 now. Ah, but he's scared. Nice. I like to see that. I like to see him scared of my a pawn. Oh, wait. We'll never take that. Oh, okay. That wasn't the best. Check. Push. Push. I have two passers. I can either push d6 or take on f3. I'm gonna take on f3. Seems the easiest. To me. Let's do it this way. Seems also easy. Let's see if I can make it in seven seconds now. Let's at least take the pawns. Now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it.
four seconds left. Easy. <laughs> yeah, F4 was a bad move by him. Then the structure was great. It was great for me. Um, thanks, Manish. For a moment, I thought I, I was going to lose some time. Okay, uh, next game. Jiyar Khan. Jiyar Han. I'm not gonna berserk this one because my my play today is being very suspicious and I will need the time. And yeah, with shitty openings like this one, I will definitely need it. Uh, well, maybe I'm not so bad now after d5. d5 was strange. Can I just go after that? Ah, oh, that's a nice pin. Um, okay, I, I'm gonna give the pawn back if you get rid of your bishop. Yeah, the thing is, I don't want to take on d5, but I I don't want to play bishop d2, whereas... Ah, yeah, bishop b2, bishop d2, if... Ah, no, 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 e3, I thought queen e2, but then he castles. Um, yeah, now I don't like e3. Well, I guess I can still take on d5. Well, now with the knight here, it's okay. e3, I just stay with the f-pawn. Yeah, okay, let's cast him. He played really well for 1600 rating. Yeah, you never know. The rating is not... It's indicative, but... As I like to say... Uh, you it's not just about uh, being good you also need to play well <laughs> and yeah sometimes I play very very below my my rating mm, see Psygops has followed thank you buddy okay I opened the, the b5 but I'm not sure why uh, I, I definitely had an idea. I'm trying to, <laughs> to understand what I'm playing for. Uh, so I have the bishop pair, so opening lines is good, but I'm always scared of this e3 move. Anyway, I think c4 is good now. <clears throat> it has to be. I'm gonna keep these two pawns like here if if I can. I need now e3 has yet another threat, so I'm gonna block that. And I'm trying to keep this because if I push, I'm giving squares for for the knights. But if he tries, then I push, and he has no squares for the knights or maybe five. But yeah, just gonna keep them there. Uh huh. Okay, I like this. I like that. I'm already starting to create pressure on the weaknesses. He defends both of them. Good move. Now what? Okay, this knight is not good. Let, let's first do a random move. Uh, while I find a route for the knight. Is he gonna play h4? I would love to see that. Okay, now I have this square maybe. Not sure if, if, if trading pieces is necessarily what I want to do. Anyway, this is a ping. The queen is not defended. The problem is he always has 95, so it's not easy to make use of this pin. Like c5, 95. And even with the pawn still here, 95 works because my queen would be hanging. Okay, never mind. Nothing of that happened. Now the queen stopped defending this square, so I'm gonna try and make something happen here. Although, again, e3. Uh, I'm worried about. So the question is can I block here? I guess I can. 
Knights are better blockaders, better blocking pieces than bishops. And this bishop now has the h2 square if necessary and is controlling b8, so I like it. Because after this push now, uh, I might be able to. to enter with the rook somewhere. Okay, if I take on h5, then I can take on f5, but that's a lot of risks. That's risky, isn't it? I can take here first, though. Makes more sense. And then there's no useful e3. Yeah, maybe I need to do this way. It's easier. Because knight d6 is a threat if he doesn't take. Yeah, I'm scared. I mean, it's a pawn. <laughs> and <laughs> a3 is hanging then, but uh, the knight on h5, it's also. So probably I, have, I can save the a3 pawn. And I'm taking a, a pawn here. But it's always scary when to take a pawn you need to, like, discoordinate all the coordination you already had. Um, okay, he allows this. Let's calculate. Knight d6, e3. Uh, that's hard to calculate. But our knight is attacked. So I can go back, simply. And there's no more f5 to f4 threat. Mm. So knight d3, knight d6, e3. <sighs> yeah, I cannot calculate, so I'm going back and keep the position. I'm also threatening this knight, which I didn't realize. Uh, <laughs> hey, Vilatic, how you doing, buddy? Uh, okay, what now? Can I take this, threatening the knight? Let's do it. It's two pawns up now. Um, okay, rook a8, I don't mind, I guess. If rook b7, then I mind, but... So d5 takes, takes... Okay, I'm going in. I'm going in. I have the initiative and I need to use it. Um, I'm also a little bit down in time. So rook b7, rook a8, queen d4, and rook takes a3. Huh. Okay, let's go queen d4 first. I like to have the position under control. Everything seems under control. I don't see a clear threat by black, although black's trying, definitely. What's the threat, anyway? Yeah, I thought I would take it, but uh, I don't see what's the knight doing there, anyway. I can take it anytime. Can take it at any point if necessary. I'm gonna go all the way there and maybe bishop b8. Okay, d5 is under severe pressure now. Severe pressure. Yeah, he takes it. I think I'm gonna trade everything. And instead of trading this knight, I'm going to go with the bishop. See if I can do something like that. The, the board is too open, so it seems that I will be to go somewhere. I will be able to use some path to go there. Okay, king h2 is a very suspicious move. Ah, he okay, he gets rid of that immediately. Okay, then let's... Defend f2 again. Time. My time management again. Ok, 
Okay, I can always get the draw by giving the, the exchange back, right? But if I can take on h4, maybe I can even win by giving the exchange back. No mate. Oh, I blundered. But he lost on time. Nice, that's the way you do it. When your opponent is in time trouble, you, you blunder a piece, so he must spend one second or two to react. No, no, it was a blunder. I didn't see. It. Yeah. I didn't even see the clocks, and I thought I was losing on time. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, top 10, nice. Still almost an hour left. Okay, so b3 went very wrong today. Let's try the queen e2 line now. You throwing a random check and ruin his pre-move, exactly. Oh, he, he took, yeah, he, he played d5. That's nice, because now I probably have a pleasant opening. here, knight f6 maybe, if he plays f6 then yeah, knight e7, that's interesting also. If he castles I'm going to go immediately h4 and... ah, f6 now, that's strange, if you play, if you're gonna play f6, why do you play knight e7 first? Okay, never mind. Ninety six makes sense because ninety seven was had a problem on e six. Uh, okay, so the knight is going the long way to d five. But now those are um, colliding with each other, the knights, right? They're both of them fighting for the same square. So if I play a three next, this knight has to go back instead of going to the desired d5 square. And that's the reason why I'm not allowing knight takes c3 with check. I'm also threatening this guy, so if he plays... yeah. Had he moved this, I could just take the bishop. <coughs> okay, nothing special, but I can think about going h6 immediately. Somehow I, I like to play <laughs> g4, but maybe it's too much. g4, f5. I don't want to take on f5 probably. The e6 pawn is so terrible that I want to keep it there. So let's play g3 first and see what happens. See what's his idea. That's his idea, okay. Okay. Now suddenly I don't have ideas. Um, no, I need to do something. Okay, I'm going to do a f very crazy move, bishop f4. <coughs> nice, Vilatic, you're, you're getting stronger and stronger very fast. A b3 is a good move, I guess. Uh, if I go b3, then f5, because of knight c3 idea. So, what am I going to do with, with that? b3, f5. How do I prevent losing a piece? Yeah, now bishop f4 was a bad move. Okay, what's the best way to give up that pawn? 
Can I do it trading queens? I've seen things like queen d3, queen b3. If knight c5, that's not working. b3, f5, what do I do there? c4. <laughs> b3, f5, c4. If he takes on passant. No, no, that's terrible. That's terrible. Okay, I don't see anything there. This is... This is a terrible game now. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try my best to defend and to have some counterplay. Congrats, Salah. I guess he's going to go to a5 with the queen and, and keep that to, to attack. Okay. Let's then... This is the worst knight, right? So let's go with this one to, to d2 and c4. Because the other is a little bit more active. It's better than the knight on e4 than the knight on f3, yes. Okay... That feels weird. Where's the queen going exactly? Because I might have some discoveries now. Okay. Is there any good discovery here? I don't see it. Whatever, I need to play fast. This game is going to become time issue more than a position issue very soon fifty to seventy five tactics a day wow that's a lot I like my pawn h six now So I'm planning bishop takes b5 and knight takes c8, attacking b4 and e6, regaining a second pawn for the piece. Bishop takes c5, he has to take with the pawn, and then after knight takes c8, okay. Uh, actually, now knight takes c8 is better because there's no queen takes c8, so I don't need to take the knight. But this is hanging, so I, I will do it anyway. Ah, so he defends e6 that way. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. No, I'm gonna take this way. I don't mind d4 because I have knight takes f6 check, which is annoying. After queen takes e6 check, I have knight takes f6. And, or even queen e7. Ah, no, he takes with the knight. Okay. Check. Ah, rook f7 is his idea. What? Is queen takes knight like winning on the spot? Okay, not winning, but winning the piece back and certainly mate. So he has to do that probably. Actually, I'm not sure if queen g7 is a good idea to open the line. Ah, let's not do it. Let's try to play fast now. 
as I said, now it's about the time. I'm gonna remove the six. It works always. I wanna play knight c5 next, but rook fd8 I'm expecting instead. Uh, you know, to prevent knight c5. Then rook e1 is. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Now this is easy. Oh, he went with the rook. That's even easier. Okay, I, I missed that, but <laughs> he resigns now. I expected rook fd8 to prevent knight c5, and then my idea was rook e1, and then knight c5 would allow to take him twice because I was threatening rook e8 mate. Okay. <coughs> Three plus two to be the most fun. Mm. Well, anytime control has its own trumps, its own funny stuff. Wow, seventeen hundred! But he's in first place of the tournament. Whoa, should I berserk or not? Okay, let's not berserk. I'm scared. Seventeen hundred by. But he's in first place of a tournament where at least one international master is playing. Berserk or no balls? Well, no balls. <laughs> Late. No, no, because today I'm playing very badly. And this guy is clearly on a streak. He's playing clearly above his theoretical level. He's playing good moves. He's playing good moves. Bishop e4, I didn't expect that. Can I try this? Yeah, I w generally I want to trade pieces and possibly queens because I'm behind in space. Behind? Well, I lack space. Oh, yeah, that was an annoying move. And knight c4, bishop takes c5, threatens e7. So, so takes takes rook e8, maybe winning the pawn back, maybe just losing my knight on b2. Uh, it's not that I have a lot of options, but okay, at least I can... Here, b4, a, b, c, b... Oh, b4 is a great move, actually. Okay, he didn't see it, or it wasn't a good move. Let me protect this pawn to develop this bishop. Again, I want to trade queens, uh, trade, uh, sorry, pieces, even if that means um, losing the bishop pair. Let's take here first. There's no e6 intermezzo, I think. Now here. Oh man, he's finding all the good moves, but I'm in time. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm not in time. Oh man. So nice c4, bishop e2, and I do have a problem. Shoot.
knight c4, bishop, eight, bishop b2, knight takes b2. Bishop takes a6, I'm not scared, but knight takes a5, I probably should be. Although that's knight d3. Okay, at least I get a lot of trades there. So maybe it's not that bad. I'm playing a scared today. I'm playing a scared mode. So if I go here, I, I trap my own knights, right? We should be two, and I resign. Ah. I know, bishop e2 I can take on e5? No, 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 I cannot. Yeah, this guy is good. This guy is good. Or I'm too bad. That's also an option. Okay. So A B rook B bishop E. Oh, he does this way. Oh man, why is this guy so good? <laughs> he finds the slow, probably winning move here. Ah. Okay, he's gonna have to give up. Oh, but he's gonna take two pawns, not not just one, two pawns. I'm glad he has to take with the bishop, but Oh, pawn takes b5 is also a threat. Oh man. <sighs> Am I losing a piece here? I'm losing a piece here. I mean, the only way not to lose the piece is to lose all the pawns, which is what, what I'm trying to do now. Surrender all of the pawns. Now he takes on b5, I expect. Because that's the cold-blooded... Yeah, exactly. And now he's gonna start taking pawns. This guy plays so strong. He's not 1700, for sure. For sure he's not 1700. Ah, uh, now what? <laughs> Resign? Yeah, I'm gonna lose some time also. Good, good one. Nice. Why is he thinking so long? Okay, rook b8 was stupid, but we gotta try. Oh, no, 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 no time to breathe. before of course he's not giving me any chance <laughs> no 
Okay. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit suspicious of these guys, so I'm gonna. Uh, Open the, the analysis in another tab, and after the tournament, I'm, I'm gonna have a look at that. <clears throat> Maybe it was just me playing terrible, it's the most likely, but for sure, he's not 1700. Oh, by the way, didn't realize Pong sacrifice <laughs> has followed. Thank you, buddy. Okay, let's continue with the tournament. Let's see if this 1900 is weaker than the previous guy. Yeah, exactly, broken. That, you know, the thing that was most susp more suspicious to me was the the regular pace of his moves, especially the obvious recaptures. Oh, oh, oh! I'm already playing. This terrible line here. Um, okay, this time at least I didn't blunder a piece as I usually do in this line. He's banned now. Oh man, why? Why do people do that? Why do you play a, a tournament and? You know, I'm not getting my points back. I mean, I am getting my my rating back, but not... Yeah, now I have the notification. You lost to a cheater. Refund 19 Blitz rating points. It was immediate. <laughs> but, come on. I think I wasn't on a streak, but even even then... There's no way I can win that queen, right? Okay, my opponent is not resigning yet, so... Uh, I'll use that pin. Yeah, that's the worst, because if you're playing um, yeah, just a game, just a challenge, and you lose to a cheater, okay, you you get your rating back, and and that's it. But if you play a tournament, uh, <laughs> it's... Yeah, of course, now he's not in first place, so uh, Gannicus is obviously in first place now. But um, I don't know if Gannicus lost against him, probably. Mm. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I mean, I get a loss in the in the previous game. Never mind. So I'm thinking I can just trade, but I don't have a good follow up for my queen. Well, maybe queen e4. Ah, yeah. Another option is to trade knights because his bishop is terrible, or just do nothing and try to. Bring more stuff. Bring more stuff and bring the other rook. That's also interesting. Or take and look for the queen trade, which is forced. Yeah, now I like this one. Because I want to simplify. I mean, I'm, I'm up a lot of material, so if I force the queen trade, then, because of the knight hanging, there's no rook takes d6. Yeah, I like this. Um, engine needs a couple of seconds to calculate. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, I probably don't want to allow him to take there. Not sure though. I'm trying not to blunder my rook because that would be not good. Mm. 
trades, trades, trades. I want trades. Oh, okay. Let's attack it. I'd love to jump in here, but there's this knight, this annoying knight. But anyway, I, I guess these threats are strong enough for him to resign, or maybe not. So why do people cheat? I don't understand. I mean, I understand if you're cheating, I don't know, in athletics, in athletics or, I don't know, in a sport where you can win something, or maybe for a prize in a real tournament, but why do you cheat on on leeches, on a blitz tournament? What's, what's the purpose? I mean... Um, even if you don't get caught, which it's unlikely, uh, what do you win with that? Okay, so I tried b3, I tried queen e2, I, I guess it's time to go for the main lines. <coughs> oh, c5, no, why do you play this? Yeah, how is this played? How is this played? Can we take here? Damn it, he's not out of theory. He played very fast. Okay, let's stay with the queen. Let's see what happens. No, is that a move? Seriously? Okay, now he's thinking. Good, good. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm losing? Or maybe he's just out of theory. Now, defending my queen, I really attack the knight, right? He has to do something. He can tell his friends, I won a daily blitz arena. Well, if he doesn't get caught, definitely he can try to say that. I beat an, e an IM. Yeah, but honestly, um, I have a game. I defeated an international master once. And I mean over the board. Um, yesterday or, I don't know, like two days ago, I defeated a Grandmaster on, on Leeches. I can show those games, but he cannot show his game. And I'm not bragging when, I mean, <laughs> what do you win? What, what's your benefit? I defeated an IM. Uh, so what? No, it's, it's very stupid. Oh, by the way, I, I could have taken the bishop also. His knight was pinned. Never mind, this, this has to be good enough anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Vilatic, exactly. <laughs> That's... If, if you beat Pepe, then then I understand, but beating an IM, come on. <laughs> okay, and now what, what the, I'm a piece up and this guy is not resigning. Now I need to play on... I have the bishop pair. I have... I'm a pawn up and a piece. Come on. What if I play a GM $20 to resign to me in an unrated game? Yeah. You can do that. I mean, if I were a GM, I wouldn't sell myself that cheap, but you can you can do that. Okay, careful with careful with my bishop. Luis Fernandez, which which Luis Fernandez? Luis Fernandez de Armas? That's the one I know that plays chess. 
So if I take here, he takes with the bishop and then he has activity. So maybe I just give my pawn up. Or I can go for trades. Is this too dangerous for me? No, I can go for trades. If he moves the knight, I have bishop e3. I know one Luis Fernandez that plays chess. His name is Luis Fernandez de Armas. He lives in Tui. So that's Luison. That's the master Luison, right? He has a very mm, famous YouTube channel. Okay, trades, trades. I love trades. So with his knight hanging, he has to trade queens. Nice. Or at least I get to trade queens. Okay, let's do it. I'll probably take on c6 instead of taking the knight now. Ah, okay. <laughs> also that. Uh, what's the deal with that rook? Uh, bishop d5 check doesn't work, so let's go here first. Now bishop here, e5, bishop d5 check, I get to trade again. I have a challenge. No challenges, please. Uh, Toysen, if you're watching the stream, I'm gonna decline. Kindly decline your challenge. So bishop f4, rook takes b2. <laughs> what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Okay, let's go. So now I'm gonna play to push this pawn, for example. I loved that queen trade. Why, <laughs> Why are you so complaining in the chat? I mean, maybe I could play with the queen for a checkmate, but this is much easier now. This is just a matter of technique. Trade. Oh no, he has a pass pawn. Oh yes, I take it. Instead of trading queens, you could mate him. Well, I don't know. So rook c8, I'm gonna push, I think. Come on, Wolf, resign, please. You want to play more games. You want to gain points in this tournament. No. Yeah, let's defend. It's better than pushing. I should play the spaghetti gambit. What is that? Expected rook b5. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. Okay, let's prevent any any blunders by me. I'm preventing blunders. Let's go to the seventh. Here, here. Italian. <laughs> Spaghetti is Italian, yeah. Makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, this rook has only one square and it's undefending the pawn a6, so I like that. Oh, I like this push. Although it's not working. Uh -huh. It's not working the way I thought. So let me take and push. And if he doesn't blunder the mate, I'm gonna trade rooks, I think. Or play b5 and go for the mate. Wow, beautiful. g4, b5, bam. b5, threatening mate here, and the rook. Yes. Okay, it's not mate, rook g5 still, but I expect him to resign. Yes.
Ой. Thanks, Roken. So, wow, we're in number seven now. Ganicus is leading 40 points ahead of us. And I'm seven. Oh, talking about Rome. Uh, and he's berserking. Should I? Should I berserk? Yeah. He has a 2 to 1 score against me. <laughs> I got him in this. Yeah, of course he's gonna defeat me anyway, but it's a moral victory for me to trick him in the opening. So bishop b4, bishop... okay, this way. I'm gonna cast a law. Yes. Now, the Danish, I'm not entirely entirely confident with that. What is that move? Oh! I don't believe that move. I'm not even gonna take it. Maybe I take it now. Maybe I should take it now. Always play King B1. I'm sacrificing a pawn for the initiative. Oh, night before. Oh, oh, oh also that. <laughs> also that. Damn it. No, no, no. I, I, I terribly blundered here. Okay, I'm going to try to survive for a couple of more moves. And uh, then probably resign. G5 takes. So is he mating me or not? If he's not mating me, not but yeah. If he's not mating me, I could try something. But he's mating me, right? Yeah, okay, let's resign. Let's be. Let's do what people usually don't do. Ah, oh, what a blunder. That wasn't good. It was a pity. I guess I should play just more normal when I play. Yeah, my best results against strong people are when I play normal. <laughs> and then I manage to to hold somehow. Or he just uh, doesn't see a win. Why not take that C pawn? Yeah, he was going to play Queen A5 anyway and and the pong is, is it will transpose most likely to the game, I think. Uh, Scala Chess, thanks for the follow. Okay, so we're playing uh, an Alekain again. This time against Condor75, also a strong player. Uh, he's berserking though. And I'm not. So let's see if I can hold until we get to an endgame. Going for the endgame. As fast as I can. Okay. That prevents bishop f5, for sure. So I want to prevent knight b5. Okay, if I'm gonna lose the pawn, I think I prefer to lose it there, but maybe I can push c4 and try to, to save it for a couple of moves. So c4, bishop e3, uh, knight e7, e6.
Okay, let's give the pawn on d4. Now, and now is where I play a 5, for example. Is that a terrible move? Yeah, I think it was a terrible move. I don't know what what was I thinking. I thought I had something there, and I I definitely don't have it. Never mind. Yeah, f five was possible now instead of ninety seven, right? Oh man, he has all the initiative here. Defending f seven. I'm attacking the bishop, so if... Yeah, okay. Makes sense. He wants to prepare this. He wants to play a 4 and... But I can do this, right? <coughs> because I have the knight of 3 trick. So we get to trade. What else? And now I don't mind knight f7 anymore. So what can I do here? Let's go here. I don't see any other move. And yeah, the position is still uncomfortable, but it, it's it's just one pawn. It's just one pawn. If I can manage to survive. Not easy to get trades. <laughs> I'm thinking this, but it's terrible. What other ideas do I have? H5 doesn't seem to work. H5, H5, there, there. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Oh, I'm losing a pawn. Pawn takes, simply. Okay, that was... <laughs> Man. Let's try. Now the rook has to choose between keeping this or keeping this. Hopefully that wins some time. Okay, uh, he goes for that. Now this knight has to move. <coughs> well, some jumps. I have some jumps. Wait, can you do that? Can you afford to do that? After bishop d6? No, 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 no. What's going on here? Ah, rook d8 check. No, rook d8 check doesn't save the piece. I'm gonna try this and see what what does he have to save his piece. I also have this jump, which can be annoying at some point. So at least I'm making him think, which is good. He's thinking a lot, so I might have found a good move. So 96 maybe is his idea? Okay, I have to take. Uh, I shouldn't be thinking. Okay, that's definitely trying. I'm gonna go and take f5, right? Uh, let's say king here. Why not? Rook here, I mean. Or here. Yeah, let's attack something. So I take on f5, I take here. Control that. Attack the rook. Hmm, he found a good gun to play there. <laughs> I might be losing. Check once. <laughs> Check twice. So knight here, rook e7, rook g2, 
rook d7, knight c8, rook d8. Still rook c2. Okay, I'm gonna try. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna try this. Oh, I missed that. <gasps> King here, okay. Fortunately. I'm gonna lose, guys. It's amazing. How did I lose this? Oh, it's mating too now. He found it. Oh, he doesn't give the mate. Why? <laughs> He's being annoying. <laughs> nice. <sighs> okay, here it it says black black is victorious here, which is um yeah. No words. No words. I wasn't even close to hold that position. <laughs> that was... I, I feel bad for my opponent. I mean, I understand I somewhat overplayed him during a part of the game, but in the end, I didn't deserve the win. Okay, let's play against Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. now. Uh, should I... Okay, I'm not gonna Berserk because I think there's time for this game. There's time left for this game. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Pong up. Let's see if I can get some trades now. Um... Develop here. Yeah. Okay, this is not so good now. <laughs> not so good now. And he gets the pawn back. So my strategy wasn't wasn't perfect. Let's put it that way. At least if I can get the rook to d7 if he castles. <coughs> so maybe I'm forcing rook c7 or maybe not. <laughs> but I was okay. Okay, that's that's reasonable. Also, starts to feel. Like very equal, but my structure is the worst. And it's uh, he has the bishop versus my knight, which is in general a bad thing for me. So I will accept him to take it. Knights are tricky, though. So he might want to tr to take it and fix my structure. That's nice. Let's go out. Uh, didn't see that one. Okay. D3 is terrible, right? I understand IC2 is not that great either, but I think it coordinates better. Okay, let's prevent f4. If g5, g3, g4 check, king back, what else? 
yeah. And now maybe B4, trying to fight against this rook. Also there. I understand this pawn is going to be weak, but for the moment that rook doesn't have a lot of squares to go to. Uh, 94 rook d6, c4, e5. Ah, e5 is not possible. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's. I'm preventing rook c6 to be able to push this pawn, and I want to push it here. So there's no e5 because of knight takes f5. That's important. And I'm always in time to defend, I guess. Okay, I need to defend now, although I have this move first. Let's do it. And now I defend the rook. If e5, knight jumps to c2 to defend e3. And hopefully I can hold or win that endgame with my majority a little bit farther advanced than his, right? Am I right? Or is my knight so terrible? Oh, maybe it's not that advanced, my majority. Maybe his majority is also very, very fast. Huh. Okay. So f3 check could be annoying, will be annoying. But he didn't do it, which is nice. Yeah, of course it was also risky. What's his plan? Okay, he can get here, but then what? Ah, go to defend. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, I need to be sure about this h4 move. So king here, h4, e4 check. And then king e3, and I'm in time, right? Do you wear a bracelet or something? I have a just a sports band to count uh, steps and so. Uh, okay, good news about his bishop being so great is that he cannot defend his own pawns because his greatness. So check first. C6 now. Check. And I'm gonna defend the knight. It's dangerous, but after bishop b4, I cannot take it, can I? No. I lose if I take... Oh! Okay, that's also possible. So bishop b4 and I lose if I take it. So I guess I need to play knight d4 and go after the pawns on the king side. Huh. Nice try, also. Oof, I need to be fast. King c5 is a good move. Ah, okay. He's not gonna take, but you never know. Um, okay. I think I'm losing, guys. I think I'm losing. Even if I get to take that bishop. The knight is very bad piece to fight against a uh, rook pawn. And my king is not in time, I think. No, it's not.
Okay, let's try this. Last resource. Last resource. Has to move the bishop. <laughs> not even close, guys, not even close. Then it. Damn, I miss squares here. <laughs> now nah, let me resign. Uh, wasn't your knight in time when you have check on c6? Uh, no, it wasn't. When, when do you say? When do you say I have check on, the, on c6? Ah, after b b8. No, it it was not in time. B8 takes takes a4. Knight c4 check, and I I lose. There's no way my my knight. It's very similar to the to the game. I just prefer. Yeah, I take the bishop, but 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 he queens. He promotes. There's no way my knight stops that pawn then. So I prefer to be trickier. Take this pawn and keep the pieces alive because if for some reason I take the bishop for free I, I can promote myself I thought it was my best chance okay tournament is over now um, yeah let me show the line for you because the tournament is over in one second <laughs> Yeah, I understand I'm losing in this endgame, no matter what I do, but if I promote, I think it's easier for him. I see 6 check, king here, and there's no way I, I can stop this. There's no way, absolutely no way. Uh, so that's why I wanted to be tricky, because for example, if here he plays this, uh, I win. <laughs> I promote with check um, and yeah I'm trying to to fish and have some checks but there's no way he can just kick away with the king and your knight can't move because he can push it for yeah 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 exactly I mean the knight is terrible against a rook pawn I should have never entered this endgame I, I can't remember yeah I tried knight c8 because I was losing anyway here, actually, yeah, I thought he would win with this also. It seemed easier to me. Because what do I do? <laughs> I have no plan. And, yeah, again, he has a clear plan. And I cannot take here, that's the point. Because this is going to promote, and if I try to stop it, then he promotes the other way, in the other side. So, so to my eyes, bishop b4 was more obvious but okay bishop c7 also stops my my pawn to push so make it also makes sense so probably here i need to to go grab this too but it's gonna be very very slow my knight mm, and i even see a square for the knight to try to prevent this maneuver i don't think there is one so yeah that's the problem with knights versus bishops yeah maybe here I just need to take here yeah that was being better much better much much better so knight takes c6 was a very stupid move <laughs> I mean if I want to play for the draw even after knight takes c6 check I, I need to take here and this can be a draw I don't know why did I push b5. I thought I had a winning idea, but it, it wasn't there, and then I'm losing. But this has to be a draw, or at least very good chances. If I remove his queenside pawns, 
which I could do this way or even this way because even though this is alive it's not so, so dangerous as a rook pawn this I can probably stop with my king so so yeah terrible decision by me at this point I think both pawn takes a5 or knight takes a6 check followed by knight takes a5 uh, are very reasonable here and now he has to be in this case he has to be worried about this pawn no yeah thank you thank you i i also make terrible moves as you can see and it's uh, it doesn't matter <clears throat> i just need to to learn from it because you know strong players they have this intuition because they they played all of these patterns uh, over and over so so they see this position and immediately take on a5 or immediately go knight takes c6 knight takes a5 a strong player w would do it immediately and since i'm playing blitz what i do immediately is not the best <laughs> but okay in a, in a classical chess game i can still figure out this position so i'm not worried i just need to keep practicing because i uh, most of my mistakes in blitz i can understand them and i can still learn from them that's that's a good thing uh, i never make terrible moves my opponents just make even better moves <laughs> yeah that's another way to see it <laughs> okay guys uh it was fun i don't know what's my final position in the tournament Pro probably top 10 let me let me check out hey Chescudo, what's up we're closing the stream because uh, round seven of the rapid and blitz in st louis already started four minutes ago so we're going to go there yeah finally place number nine for me not the greatest but okay uh 1200 players in the tournament so not so bad <laughs> and managed to defeat uh who did i defeat condor 75 who ended up in the fourth place um and i was also um oh oh but oh look at this so this guy was the cheater right was it no this wasn't the cheater who was the cheater do you recall his nickname maybe i can have it still here yeah sheer aha uh -huh. so sheer is not here in my list of games so uh do they have now in liches uh like i mean i understand he's out of the tournament i understand uh i got the rating back but did i also get um, well definitely didn't get my time back <laughs> for that game but at least I, the loss didn't count, I think, because it was before Gannicus or before Booth. I think it was before Booth. Um, yeah, I have a streak of points until that game. So, so I think when they uh, ban someone from a, a cheater from a tournament, now, now it's uh, it's fast. Like uh, they don't affect your your points in the tournament uh, well they affect because i spent uh i wasn't berserking so i spent almost 10 minutes in that game but <laughs> but okay it's nice to see that at least i, I don't get that loss and and then it's it's nice to see this um this immediate action happening during the tournament anyway guys uh thank you and time to watch some some action in san luis uh, today is the final round of the rapid and tomorrow is the blitz starting so so i'm gonna i'm gonna raid chess bra and see you see you in the other side <laughs> bye bye there we go
Thank you, Chescudo. Thank you. Hey, Colombo. Let's go. Let's go and watch the Rapid and Blitz in San Luis. 